Good morning. It's Thursday, July 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Perfecting the Art of Chaos, and our scripture is Hosea's Prophecy, Chapter 4. Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel. The Lord has brought charges against you, saying, There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of God in your land. You make vows and break them. You kill and steal and commit adultery. There is violence everywhere, one murder after another. That is why your land is in mourning and everyone is wasting away. Even the wild animals, the birds of the sky, and the fish of the sea are disappearing. Don't point your finger at someone else and try to pass the blame. My complaint, you priests, is with you. So you will stumble in broad daylight, and your false prophets will fall with you in the night, and I will destroy Israel, your mother. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priests. Since you have forgotten the laws of your God, I will forget to bless your children. The more priests there are, the more they sin against me. They have exchanged the glory of God for the shame of idols. There can be little denying the words of Hosea written nearly 2,800 years ago, which describe our generation in agonizingly accurate detail. There's a lack of truth and integrity, a prevalence of violence, one murder after another. Climate change is decimating entire species of animals, and as the prophet lamented over the people, everyone is wasting away. And then Hosea, never a prophet of easy times or soft strokes, lays the blame right at the feet of those who won't tell the truth, false preachers in the business of business as usual. The uncompromising truth-teller bellows, don't try to pass the blame. Now there are biblical texts that are hard to take, and this is one of them. I wince each time Hosea opens his mouth because the ones he says God is going to hold accountable are the false preachers. I have a commitment to truth, biblical truth, and personally sticking to telling the truth. However committed I am to truth, I'm not always right, and sometimes convicted by not being brave enough to speak up. It would be untruthful to not accept that mantle of falling short of God's glory. Hosea's most explosive bombardment is the accusation of empty preaching, where priests, clergy, have refused to know God and therefore have nothing about God to tell the people who are disintegrating without any connection to God. And when you have access to food and refuse to share it with people who are starving, you're guilty. There's no one else to blame. End of story. For you today, if you're a person who identifies as a Jesus follower, a disciple, or simply a believer in God, you are also a preacher. We are like beggars who have found bread and bear responsibility to tell other beggars where the stash is located. In the absence of truth-telling, chaos is bound to reign. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.